I certainly welcome you taking time out of your busy day to be here, make time for our annual meeting. Uh, just a little housekeeping. Make sure you pick up your book. Before you leave, take it with you. All the documents of today's meeting are in there. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to begin with the invocation by the Reverend C. Jessel Strong. Reverend? Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you. We thank you for the privilege of being able to see a new day. We thank you for all those who have gathered here this day. We thank you for the food that has been prepared and the hands that prepared it. We thank you for the joy of knowing that truly indeed we are blessed to see another day. We thank you. Amen. Next item of business on the agenda, I invite Norman Newmark to uh, take the roll call, please. Okay. Okay. Morning, everybody. <clears throat> no norm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll start with uh, Centene. Centene Corporation. Excused. Okay. Donna Brooks Sanders. Yeah. Beth Davis. Yeah. Chow Cow Boogie D. Dolby. Here. Here. Chief Dotson. Saw him. John Beck. Here, there he is. Okay, great. Hey, wait, John, this is no place. You have to take this in another room, John. He's kissing <laughs> KTRS lady. <laughs> Not good. Greg Daly, I saw here. Melanie is here. Mark Dorsey. It's um. It's yeah, she's here. Go ahead. Okay, and uh, Honorable Steve Eilman here. Elman. Elman. Bob Fullstone here. Marianne Gibson. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the Catholic Urban Programs. Catholic Urban, Urban Programs. Yeah. Chief Jankerson here. Joe Keevening, Senator? Kevin. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin yeah. Senior. Senator. Here. Jack, Jack Galmich. Okay, Patty Ann Hegeman. Patty, there she is, Esquire, attorney. Yeah. One of you guys. One of, oh, well, too bad for her. Uh, Mary Hutchinson. Kevin Jones. Uh, Honorable Mark Kern. Kevin's here. Kevin's here? Yeah, I just saw, talked to Kevin. Yeah, he's here. Oh, okay. Went to the job. Okay. <laughs> Honorable Mark Kern. I doubt it he's going to be here. John Kioski. So, Phil Kirkpatrick. He's here somewhere. Donna Knight. She excused. Excused. Lance Lacombe here. Brian Leonard. It, running late. Pete. Running late. Okay. James Knight. Excused. Excused. Spencer. He, uh, Fox 2. Fox 2 here. Okay. Steve Lemley. No. Denise Lebel saw her. Gina Mayer. There she is. Mike McMillan is here somewhere. Okay. Peter, you're up here. Stop socializing and running. <laughs> you're up here. <laughs> Sandra Moore. Uh, she's Urban Strategies. Urban Strategies is here. Urban Strategies is Got here. Got it. Uh, Dean Mutter. Dean Mutter. Um, it's called Spectrum. Spectrum Reach. Oh. Norman Newmark here. Kevin McGowan. Oh. Excuse me. Jason Miller. KMOV TV. KMO, KMOV TV. Oh. Reverend Nance is here. Deborah Patterson. Margie Price. Here. Lou Reams. Lou Reams. No. Patricia Roland Hamilton. Francis Slay here. Honorable Steve Stanger here. Jeff Rainford. No. Stephen Roberts. John Sheehan. Kevin Smith, Better Eye College. He's here. I just no. saw him. Yeah. Reverend Strong is here. Tom Tipton. No, it's uh, KDNL TV. Yep. Kim Tucci is here. Ben Turek. There he is. Hey, Ben. Anywhere oh, you want to sit, Ben. Pam Walker. Yep. Marcia Williams. Tom Trotter. Yep. Lonnie Tucker. Marianne Wagner. Randy Weller, is here. No. Richard Wise is not here. Excused. Right? Excused, right. right. Excused. David Yates? Here. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. President, I think we have a quorum for business. 
Uh, therefore, I declare that we do have a quorum and we are able to conduct business. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the pre uh, previous, the minutes from last year's meeting. The copies are in your package if uh, you want to take a brief look at those and we'll, do I hear a motion on the floor to approve the previous minutes? Would you tell them where they are in your package? Uh, well, it's up front. Subject to any necessary corrections, I have a motion on the floor to approve the minutes. So moved. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Uh, lastly, I want to remind everyone to sign the various policies we have, the document retention, the whistleblower policy, and the conflict of interest policies, and get those back to me if you haven't already done so. I thank you. Uh, next item of business is a nominating report to be given by Bob, Bob Fullstone, the chairman of the nominating committee. I have now had my official instructions from Mr. Trotter. We will now proceed. We're going to make this fast as we like to do. Some very important names on here. We thank you all for showing up today. So here we go. I'll ask for a verbal vote. Oh, I see some important people right there. Uh, for a new board nominee, two-year term, Jack Galmish. I don't know if Jack's here or not. And Patricia Ann Hagman. For three-year term, Mr. Tom Trotter. Re-election for the board members by uh, class years, one-year term. Uh, Boogie Doby, Kevin McCowan, uh, Jason Miller, Kevin Jones, Steve Roberts, and the Honorable Gregory Daly. For two-year term, Honorable Mark Kern, Lonnie Tucker, Philip Kirkpatrick, the fabulous Dean Mutter, Steve Lemley, Dr. James Knight, Lance Lacombe, and Kim Tucci. For a three-year term, Mary Hutchison, Beth Davis, Brian Leonard, John Beck, Donna Knight, John Kiowski, uh, John Shin, and please note that Kevin Smith, Director of Carpet Marketing for Vatterat College, replaces his company's Robin Van Lee, and who's been a true uh, advocate for us, and we wish her well. And we welcome Kevin Smith. Do I hear a motion to approve? All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. So um, if you would, in your book, um, beneath the cover page saying Ben Turek, Chair, PR Marketing Committee, is actually the budget. Um, so we have a proposed 2016-2017 proposed operating budget of uh, $1.1 million, and it uh, lays out where we expect the revenues and expenses to go uh, for the coming year. would ask you to take a look at that, and uh, if we might have a motion to approve it for the coming year. You're so moved. Okay, second. All right. Mr. McMillan, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. At this time, I'd like to call up County Executive Steve Stanger, County Executive St. Louis County, uh, for Special Project Partnership Awards. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Gentry, may I may it please the court? All right. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everyone. It is an honor to be here with you this morning on behalf of such a worthy cause. And I'm pleased to announce this morning that St. Louis County in partnership with HUD and CoolDownStLouis.org is participating in this summer's Keep on the Air, Be Cool, project aimed at helping county seniors, the disabled and low-income households with sick infants. Our grant of $250,000 is the largest we have given this charity. And I hope that this sum will help to fill any shortfall in public donations and government grants this summer. With Cool Down St. Louis, we carry on the great partnership of last fall when we worked with Heat Up St. Louis Chairwoman Melanie DeLeo, the Chairman Emeritus Reverend Earl Nance Jr., and Heat Up's General Counsel, Norm Newmark, to help at-risk groups survive the frigid blows of winter. A mark of Heat Up St. Louis's effectiveness last fall was the organization's spending of $150,000 in St. Louis County within 35 days of receiving the donations. These expenditures went directly to helping keep about 1,000 county residents warm. 
The City of St. Louis and Mayor Francis Slay have been valued partners in Heat Up and Cool Down St. Louis programs for the last 10 years. We are happy to continue that relationship. I also want to remind and encourage our generous county residents to continue their support of the, of the least among us by going online to donate at cooldownstlouis.org where 100% of your donations go directly to those who need it. I look forward to continuing to help the Cool Down and Heat Up St. Louis organizations carry on their great work, and I thank you all very much. Thank you. Okay. Steve, on behalf of all the board members of Cool Down St. Louis, we cannot thank you enough for this humongous grant of $250,000. This is the first, the largest grant that we have had to be able to start the cooling season. And as you all know, St. Louis is a very hot place in the summer. Um, we all, most of us live in brick houses and that just keeps that heat inside. And it is really important that we help those who cannot help themselves right now, who can't decide between medicine and turning on the air. And as we all know, we want people to turn on the air in the heat of the summer. And this grant will allow us to help those who need this help. So on behalf of all of you sitting in this room and all those people who it will help, we thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm certain that I speak for pastors throughout the St. Louis region as a past president of St. Louis Clergy Coalition of Metropolitan St. Louis when I say thanks, Steve, for being cool enough again <laughs> to partner with us, especially this time. CoolDownStLouis.org, our summer project in St. Louis County, where we want seniors and the disabled to keep on the air and stay healthy. While the $250,000 will be used strictly in the county, thanks to Mayor Francis Slay, April Ford Griffin, and Melba Moore, there's also relief in the city. But we welcome donations from all parts of the Missouri and Illinois region, too. Need knows no geographic boundaries. Please donate to CoolDownStLouis.org or drop off any donations to any UMB bank if you need help, go to our website or call 314-241-7668. Turn on the air. Be cool. Thank you. And now representing the area fire chiefs and EMS crews is our board member, Fire Chief Dennis Jenkerson. Last fall, our Heat Up St. Louis.org program spent $150,000 in a matter of 30 days in St. Louis County. Steve Stanger has realized with us that people's health and safety is paramount. So we're praying that a $250,000 grant today stretches as far as it can. Fire and EMS crews throughout the bi-state area during the hot, humid St. Louis summers can often be slammed with horrific medical runs due to heat-related illnesses. The deadly heat for seniors and the disabled can also exacerbate their health. We want the most vulnerable to turn on their air and keep it on to keep cool. We want you to check on the most vulnerable neighbors and go online to heat up St. or cool down St. Louis.org or call 314-241-7668 for utility help. These county funds will not only keep hundreds of county residents cool, the funds will serve as a lifeline to keep them alive. And we welcome donations from the public as local government cannot do it all by themselves. Please join St. Louis City and now St. Louis County and make an investment in the life of our seniors and the other needy residents so that they may have a safe and cool summer. Remember, need has no geographical boundaries. Thank you, and thank you, County Executive Steve Sanger, for your faith in knowing that CoolDownStLouis.org will deliver results. Thank you, County Executive Stanger. Uh, before we go any further, I just want to uh, acknowledge and, and thank and recognize a few of the folks who represent the, the agent, various agencies that fund our activities to help us do so much in the community. Uh, Gay Fred, 
uh, with the Missouri Public Service Commission, who helps anchor our fourth annual Ameren Missouri Heat Up St. Louis Winterizing Forum. Um, April Ford Griffith of the Affordable Housing Trust Funds, the City of St. Louis, another funder. Uh, Melba, Melba Moore, Health Director of the City of St. Louis, another funding source through the Utility Tax Fund. Uh, Shante Flew Ellen Hayes of the Department of Health. Uh, Kathy Spankowski of the Public Safety Department. Um, someone I'm particularly fond of, Mary Ellen Ponder, Chief of Staff of the Mayor's Office. Mary Ellen, stand up, the new brag. Come on, Mary Ellen, let them see you. <laughs> Honey, he had you on the list, so. Uh, Tara Oglesby, Vice President of Customer Experience, Amber, Missouri, and our co-sponsor with the, the October Winterizing Forum that we do. Uh, Connie Taylor, a supervisor with Credit and Collections, Amber, Missouri, and it's a key position for us to work with folks who um, are seeing that bill and wondering what to do. Um, our certified public accountants, Steve Maurice and Vicki McDonald, who help us obviously with all our financial work and filing of our tax forms. And some of the social service agencies who weren't able to be with us today due to conflicts with their schedules or just distance, uh, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, Northeast Community Action Agency, the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis and St. Clair County, St. Louis County and St. Louis City, uh, Urban League of Alton, the Community Ag Action Agency of St. Louis County, the Salvation Army, uh, the People's Community Action Agency, and uh, the other firms that we work throughout the year. If I missed anyone, I certainly apologize. Uh, but it's this teamwork, uh, this many pieces uh, coming together in one puzzle that helps solve uh, the heating and cooling issues for the folks that we serve in our region. So certainly deeply thank everybody for your hard work throughout the year and your hard work that's going to be coming up um, here in 2016-2017. Mr. President, just a little note that there are a few who couldn't be here, but then the other ones that you call are here. Okay. Yeah, those agencies. A matter of fact, with our agencies that we call, would you please stand up and be recognized, please? Our partnering agencies, please stand up. Uh, the next order of business, official greetings uh, by St. Charles County Executive Steve Elman. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Am I good to go, Gentry? You're always good to go. Isn't he amazing? Sure. He, he is the master, Gentry is the master of multitasking. <laughs> Only Gentry, at the same time for an event like this, can be the producer, the director, and the star of the show. <laughs> On a more serious note, I agree with our new uh, heat up and cool down campaign slogan, which is need knows no geographical boundaries. I'd like to uh, have uh, Heat Up St. Louis, the St. Charles board members, Denise uh, Liebel and Mary Hutchinson, uh, join me at the podium. As you know, heatupstlouis.org and our summer project has Northeast Community Action Corporation and often St. Vincent de Paul covering the Lincoln, St. Charles, and Warren County counties throughout the year. In the past several years, we have seen an uptick in the need of those counties, and while we plan to keep in, uh, in, intact those social service partners, today I'm pleased to add St. Joachim's and Ann Care Service uh, into the family for utility assistance for St. Charles County. CoolDownStLouis.org for the past several years have worked closely with uh, Sandy Pratt on their Ameren uh, Cool Down project. Cool Down has been so impressive with their distribution of services that this summer we are providing them with one of our initial summer utility grants. Sandy, please join us at the podium. And on behalf of the board of directors, we're proud to present you with a check for $10,000, hopefully the first of many to come for summer utility assistance. Thank you, County Executive Elman. Uh, the next order of business, I'd like to uh, call Warner Baxter, Chairman, President, and CEO of Ameren Corporation, up to the podium, please. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It, uh, it is certainly a pleasure to be here with a room full of community leaders who are supporting this incredible organization. I mean, Heat Up, Cool Down St. Louis has done so many great things for this community for many years, and it's because of your support we're, we're able to, to, to continue to do the great things for the community. Uh, special appreciation for many of those here at the front table, uh, the, the leaders of the Board of Directors and all the Board of Directors out there. 
I just want to thank you for your commitment to this organization because you're truly making a difference in the lives of so many who are vulnerable here in the community. And so, so thank you for that. And so that's why Amron is so proud to be part of this organization, to be a partner with this organization. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I really believe we share the same mission. It is really to power the quality of lives for those who have so many needs in our community. And so together, I'm absolutely convinced we're going to continue to do that for, for many, many years in the future. But the reason I'm here today is, is, is really to offer a special appreciation to a very special partner, to this organization, and to this community, and that's Mayor Francis Slay. Now, I've had the, the great privilege and honor to stand side by side with the mayor in so many things, whether it has been anchored through storm restoration, at community events, but uh, I've had the great privilege to stand side by side with you, Mayor, hauling air conditioners, right, uh, as, we, as we get ready to, to give those in the community. And there's no doubt that, uh, that the mayor's passion and commitment to the citizens of this community, his passion and commitment to this organization, and his passion and commitment to those vulnerable, frankly, it, uh, it's unequal. And so, Mayor, you know, we want to express our special appreciation to you because, as many of you know, he's the honorary chair, and, and this will be his last meeting sitting as mayor and be the honorary chair. And so, you know, today we want to give a special award to you, Mayor. <laughs> Thomas Edison Clock with the meter. Only fitting for you, sir. It's, all, it's great to surprise you. It doesn't happen much, but here we go. It's all here. I'm going to set this down for a minute. Warner, thank you very much. And uh, I've never seen anything like that. That is a, about as a, a unique, uh, unique uh, thing I've ever seen. And so I'll, I'll uh, but anyway, uh, thank, thank you so much, and, and thank all of you. Uh, you know, one of the things, well, actually, the thing I like most about uh, the job that I've had over the last 15 years is the people that I work with. I mean, that's the most important and uh, uh, the most uh, uh, fulfilling part of my job. The best part is that I get to work with so many people uh, and so many organizations represented by people who care deeply about our city and our region and work really hard to try to make it better. There's a lot of very, very good quality uh, charities and charitable efforts in, in St. Louis. But this is one of my very favorites. And it's one of my very favorites um, because it really is something that uh, we know we can measure the results. We know that we're helping uh, so many of our most vulnerable citizens all over the St. Louis region. So it's regionally orient oriented. Uh, we're, we're directly helping people. Every dollar that is collected and is raised goes to people in need. Uh, no money for overhead. The overhead is, is um, taken on by, by all of you and the organizations that you represent uh, so generously. And it is a very diverse group of individuals, people, organizations, uh, businesses, civic leaders, political leaders, uh, media organizations, and personalities uh, working together to, uh, to do something really good and impactful for our community. This would not be the effective organization without, of you, without all of you. And uh, the City of St. Louis has been a very proud partner, of course, through our health department. Uh, Melba Moore's here. I know uh, Mary Ellen Ponder, my chief of staff, who was mentioned, uh, Lance's wife, uh, but my chief of staff. And, uh, and we have uh, April Ford Griffin from the uh, Affordable Housing Trust Fund. Sherry Wibbenmeyer's here. Uh, Rochelle Moore from my office is, as well uh, is, is, is staffing. and. Uh, but this is a team effort, and it's an impactful one. It's one I've been very honored to be part of and be associated with all of you on something so, uh, so great. But you know what? There's one person that uh, we wouldn't be here. Uh, we wouldn't be here 
but for one person in this room, someone who uh, really works at this tirelessly, make sure that all the money gets to where it's supposed to get, make sure that uh, we all show up where we need to show up and uh, do what we need to do to really make this a successful organization. And that's uh, Gentry Trotter. And let's... Uh, And I, and I don't say this too often, but there, you know, you, you have your favorite people, okay? You do. Uh, and I have my favorite St. Louisans, and, and Gentry is one of my very, very favorite St. Louisans. And I really don't mind him bossing me around and telling me what to do, because I know this. This guy's got a heart of gold. He's doing it for all the right reasons. He's very, very, um, and he's very, very dedicated to this effort and the people that we help. Uh, and he's doing a great job. So thank you very much. I want to also recognize the police, the police chief and the fire chief are with us here today, as well from city government. Um, there, those organizations both uh, really are helpful as well. So anyway, thank you so much for the recognition. Uh, it's been an honor to be part of this organization. Certainly, be an honor. It's an honor to be mayor of City of St. Louis. We also want to thank Sherry. Where are you, Sherry? Where are you, Sherry? Come mm -hmm. on up here, Sherry. Come on, Sherry. Hurry up, we're on the time clock. <laughs> they often say it's the woman behind that runs the deal, so we really want to thank you, Sherry. And just a footnote, Sherry, we are going to miss the mayor, and we're going to miss you and all the work you do to help us with Heat Up St. Louis. We definitely appreciate it. God bless you for everything right. you do. And for working with Gentry. One of the things that I want you all to know is that she has been working with the mayor for 35 years. That in itself gives you a I'd now like to call up the podium, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder. In a long program, I may be the audience's dream because I'm a politician in bad voice. Uh, thank you for the honor of uh, sharing some words of tribute to my friend, the mayor. Um, six, about 15 years ago in January, I, was, uh, I became the first member of my party to head either legislative chamber in, either, in about 50 years. In the case of the Senate, it was 53 years. And a mutual friend, uh, Charles Drury, my old boss, told me that I needed to go uh, to come to town and have dinner, and he wanted to introduce me to this guy who was running for mayor. And uh, I said I'd be delighted to. And so I made uh, one of my many trips to this beautiful city. And Francis and I instantly became friends, and I cheered him on in that primary in March. And he, he easily won and has won three times subsequently. And we've worked together on a lot of, a lot of different things, uh, to include Heat Up, Cool Down St. Louis, the great cause. And uh, through it all, he's been a genuine friend to me, a personal friend. Uh, and I, I cherish that friendship, and I... I uh, was a little surprised at your announcement a few months ago, but I look forward to whatever is the next chapter in your life and your leadership. I know that with your servant's heart, you will continue to serve your fellow men and women throughout the St. Louis region. Salute, my friend. Um, next item on the agenda, I'd like to invite Kevin Smith, Corporate Director of Marketing for Vatar College, to the podium, please. I'm not a politician, so I'll try to go quick. Um, first of all, on a personal note, I want to thank everyone um, for welcoming me. This is my first time, and I will um, echo Mayor Slay's uh, sentiments. Gentry's been wonderful because this is my first time, so all I had to do was get an email from him, and he told me what to do, so I'm just going to do what he told me to do. <laughs> um, we are, I'm, I'm very proud to be here representing Batterot College. Uh, we have a long, <coughs> long-running relationship with Heat Up, Cool Down. And once again, our four area locations, Fairview Heights, St. Charles, uh, North Park, which is Berkeley, 
and Sunset Hills will be drop-off locations for used air conditions where our HVAC students and program directors will uh, work on those and rehabilitate them and be able to donate them back to the community. So we're very proud to be a part of that. Um, on a personal note, I'm gr glad to hear about um, Joe Manan being involved in St. Charles County. I was a board member for that great organization um, five to ten years ago. They do wonderful things in the area as well. So we're very excited about that um, and feel a, a little small. Uh, we do have a nice big check, but it's not to the size of it um, Mr. Stanger was able to present. But I do think it's worth noting that that just shows um, the importance of every dollar that's raised here. Um, and for the rest of the summer for heat up. So um, we're here to present a donation of $5,000, which again pales in comparison, but again, I think it's important for everyone to understand the value of every dollar raised going right back into this program, which is something we feel very strong about because without having great communities, what else do we really have? So um, thanks again to everyone for being here and uh, continue the great work for the organization. <laughs> Uh, the next item of business, uh, Michael Mohn, President, CEO, and Chairman of Ammon, Missouri. Good, good afternoon. I will, uh, I will be brief as well. I, I, I do, as Warner acknowledged, thank you for being here. I mean, your presence, I think, says a great deal about the, the importance of this organization. As Warner Baxter said, you know, we are, we, we take seriously being involved in our communities, giving both our personal time as well as corporate money and getting invested in the communities. That's why we've chosen to partner with uh, Heat Up, Cool Down. Uh, we enjoy, a, I think we can say, a special partnership with uh, Gentry and, uh, and the organization. I personally have benefited a great deal from Gentry's council over the years. And so, as the mayor acknowledged, uh, his leadership uh, and his heart is in the absolute right place. So that's why we are thrilled to continue this uh, partnership. We're here to today announce a $100,000 contribution to, uh, to heat up, to continue that mission. Uh, I can certainly attest to those words that um, um, need knows no boundary. It really does. We see it every single day in our business. So on behalf of Amherst, Missouri, we are pleased to announce a $100,000 contribution to heat up, cool down St. Louis. <laughs> Thank you, Amron. Very, very generous. I'd like to call our membership committee chair, Beth Davis, uh, to the podium to give her report, please. Welcome, everybody. First of all, I want to thank uh, everyone who's contributed so much to the organization. Uh, Mr. Sanger, thank you. Thank you. We so appreciate it. Amron, incredible. Vaterot, incredible. This all helps us do the job that we're here for. But we need more help. Um, we have approximately 200 area donors who joined this past year, and that was during the summer and winter. And the public donor level is about the same as it was the year before. And when we began this project several years ago, we had as high as 450 members based on various donation levels. So we're down a little bit, and those of us in business knows what, know what that feels like. So the donations and grants are incredible, but we need more help. Um, to get that, we need online participation with heatupstlouis.org or cooldownstlouis.org, and we need to re-engage membership. need all of your help to do that. That means if you re-engage, if you have let it fall off your plate, or if you get other people involved, that's really important. We have an unseasonably warm winter this year, so that was helpful, but the donations were down because of that. And if we have a mild summer, uh, the donations will also be soft, but at some point we need to make up that difference. So we plan to run a uh, radio, radio spots, radio schedules this summer uh, to shore up our membership. And meanwhile, the executive board wishes to review membership concept and talking and calling others to participate. We want to use our partners. So if you know partners who want to be part of this, if your business is not part of this, please become part of this, not just individually, but bring your businesses 
into the fold. Um, and also, um, as a member of the executive board, I want to listen to other ideas in ways that we can create, <coughs> generate more donations. And we can do that collaboratively. Um, so uh, if anyone today is reviewing the fundraising calendar as your own, how can we effectively raise awareness, one, and also additional funds, number two, uh, based on our current concept, and also think about how we can generate more uh, revenue, more donations, uh, through ideas that you have. So I'm willing to listen to those. We all want to hear them. Bring them to Gentry, and we'll, we'll consider what we can do. Feel free to review our online membership tab. Give us your feedback through info at heatupstlouis.org, or you can find my company email in your board roster. We've also asked to share with you in the report today proposed <coughs> fundraising opportunities sort of calendar broken down by quarter for the balance of the year through spring 2017. Now, I know those packets are huge. So here it is. It's about mid-packet. It looks something like this. And you can look at the various ideas that, ex that we're considering at this point. Uh, if any of your organizations can be part of this, it would be great if you have other ideas on how we can build on this. We'd love to hear about them. Our founder believes also that the Sweet 16 is a possible fundraising theme or uh, a way to benefit. If you notice, it's included in each quarter on this little page that I showed you, and we're going to try to get the fundraising people together with our committee to see how we can take full advantage of celebrating our 16 years in existence. If you have any ideas after reviewing the attached fundraising calendar that I showed you and wish to volunteer to make an a turnkey fundraising project with maybe a membership twist uh, involved as well, just let us know. And if we really, if we really need your help to engage and re-engage the public and uh, corporate supporters, uh, as well as figure ways to develop and execute noteworthy um, fundraising opportunities. We encourage our media partners and uh, in many ways, we're competitors, but when it comes to taking care of the city and our own, we all work collaboratively. Everyone and all the faces that I'm looking at um, this afternoon, we appreciate what you do, and I think we uh, support each other in supporting this organization. Uh, so uh, I thank you for all of that. We'll continue to uh, look at our calendars, give us feedback and uh, see if there's anything uh, that you have in mind uh, that would merit for print, electronic, media branding, et cetera. Thank you so much. Thank you, Beth. I'd like now, now to invite Ben Turek, uh, Chair of our PR and Marketing Committee, to make his report. Hello, everyone. Um, I want to thank you for all you have done uh, for the charity. Um, you have a big annual report there. Uh, and it, it includes documentation on social media, on-air radio, television exposures uh, that tie into Heat Up and Cool Down St. Louis.org. Um, from Hardy's Rise and Shine to generic health and safety incidents in the metro area. Our Speaker's Bureau, often led by our bo board officers, has been very busy throughout the 2015-16 summer cooling and winter heating seasons. Please review various participation by our media partners and feel free to see if there are any promotion, public service, or news opportunities that we could be included in coming up in the future. Based on this year's activity reports, particularly with Hardy's Rise and Shine fundraiser, it's clear that there, there was a significant, significant increase uh, in live remotes, call-ins, public service announcements, announcements and again, we want to thank you for sharing in that story and uh, certainly Hardy's for all the in-kind uh, donations they have made as well. Our founder, Gentry, uh, has kept me in the loop daily uh, with problem sol with problem solvings as it relates to some sponsorships and further market media exposure during this past summer and winter months. There's so much more we can do as a strong media and corporate sponsors um, uh, you know, particularly the Sweet 16, that's going to be our 16th birthday coming up. And as Beth had mentioned, um, any ideas that any of you might have or need help um, in coming up with, we're all happy to, to help and brainstorm on that. 
Uh, finally, the good news is that based on this year's documentation, uh, which doesn't re reflect all the PR marketing exposure, many of our industry spokespeople, like the fire chief, social service uh, reps, and health professionals, make us a dominant force as an, accept as, uh, an effective all-volunteer char charity particularly with our public education and advocacy and partnering with the likes of Ameren, Missouri Public Service Commission, and others. Please join me in thanking Tom Trotter and Steve Lemley and their staff for making the 16th annual Hardy's Rise and Shine the most successful of both fundraising and media exposure. And also give yourself a well-deserved salute for helping us with our messaging during the Hardy fundraiser and also events like weather and news stories which help raise awareness and drive traffic to our website and hotline for those in need of help. In fact, we're proud to report that about 75 percent, about 75,000 people connected with us during the past 12 months, which proves that the regional media support is effective and awesome. And, and we thank uh, the media for all the valuable time that they do give us. I know that it, it, they have a lot of pressure to, to get our stuff in, and we really appreciate all that you do, and thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. I would now like to invite uh, Missouri State Senators Joe Kevney and Jamila Nasheed to the podium, along with uh, 28th Ward Alderwoman Lida Cruzen. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. You know, it's, it's not often that the Senate presents a resolution to the man that gives out thousands of res resolutions. But today we're going to do just that. Uh, Mayor Slay, the Senate has a resolution for you, and I um, would like to read it. Yeah, I would like to read it. So, Senate from resolution for Mayor Slay, whereas the members of the Missouri Senate believes it is altogether right and proper to pause from time to time to recognize outstanding Missourians who have been distinguished by their exceptional public service. And whereas the members now pause to recognize Francis G. Slay, the mayor of the city of St. Louis, who has consistently demonstrated a genuine concern for the special needs of St. Louis seniors, disabled, and low-income residents. And whereas Heat Up St. Louis, Inc., its regional, non-for-profit advocacy, public education, and utility assistance charity celebrating its 16th year of service as a safety net for our seniors, disabled, and low-income citizens here in the St. Louis area. And whereas the board of director of Heat Up St. Louis and Cool Down St. Louis named Mayor Francis Slay, its honorary chair and leadership advocate, by resolution almost 10 years ago. And whereas, since receiving his honorary position, Mayor Francis Slay recruited the St. Louis Fire Department, Cool Down St. Louis volunteers, to canvas city blocks looking for seniors and disabled people in need of new and slightly used air conditioning units donated by our good friends, Amron UE, Vitarac College, or members of the general public. And whereas it was Mayor Slay and his staff who developed the Utility Assistance Fund from the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, and he continues to partner with the St. Louis Health Department and Heat Up St. Louis. And whereas, for 16 years, Mayor Slay has served as an official greeter for the annual Hardy's Rise and Shine for Heat fundraiser, advocating for the goals of Cool Down St. Louis. And whereas, now therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of the Missouri 98th General Assembly, salutes Mayor Francis Slay for his leadership with Heat Up St. Louis and Cool Down St. Louis efforts and its all around actions for the people that they represent. So, this is for you. Thank you, Senator. 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 Thank you, Senator.
Good afternoon. Thank you so much for all of your service to Heat Up St. Louis. Without your efforts, of course, this, this program would not be nearly as successful at it, as it is today. Uh, I'll diverge for just a minute from the text and say let's give a round of applause to Pasta House and all of our servers here today. Great meal. Thank you. So this morning at the Board of Aldermen, we passed a resolution in honor of Mayor Slay, which is very rare. I don't even know if it's ever been done before. Um, Mayor Slay has spent the last uh, 31 years he's been elected in the city of St. Louis. Now we know 15 as mayor, about six I think it was as the president of the Board of Aldermen, and then prior to that being the 23rd Ward Alderman. So he has served the people of this city for a very, very long time. Uh, but his efforts for Heat Up St. Louis have been extraordinary and have grown this program into what it is today, along of course with all of your help. So I won't read the resolution here today, but I did want to just take a moment and say that I hope that the mayor enjoys having this resolution from the Board of Aldermen, the board that he previously presided over. And uh, we recognize his accomplishments, uh, not only here, but as mayor for the last 15 years. So Mayor Slay, it's my honor to present this resolution to you. Thank you. Too. We're going to change up the agenda a little bit. I would like to uh, invite Greg Daly, the St. Louis Collector of Revenue, to the podium, please. We'll be right with you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not often that um, I, I really don't want to be on camera, believe it or not, no matter what you've heard and no matter what you've seen on, com on uh, competitive stations, but they're not, it's not really a competitive little appearance. It's op-ed and it's not news. Ooh, I hope he's not here and hears that. But what we tried to do is show the appreciation for the last uh, 16 years, two county execs, great people, had said there was no need in the county, people didn't need help, da 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 Melanie, Reverend Ann's, we talked to, we were blue in the face. Well, it just so happens that, we, where is Melanie? If you think I'm bad, take that little lady there. Because she and Steve got together with um, the fire chief, with our general counsel, if you can believe it, for your comfort level, we did that because he's a lawyer, just to make you feel good. And we got together with them and, um, and Donna Knight to talk about the needs in the county. So last year began, they found money, we had 30 days to spend it, William Tell Overture was planned and we spent it and got it done. But also we came back. Melanie knocked on the door and said, well Steve had said this and Steve said, you call Steve up, it's perfect, it's done, it's no problems. He realizes the needs of the people in St. Louis County. To me, that's important for anybody to say, and I'm not knocking anybody, that they didn't think that all the poverty's in the city. That's not true. Need no, has no geographical area. You can ask that man sitting over there in St. Charles County where we first started. We helped St. Charles County. You can ask Mike McMillan, who's coming up later. We helped the people in Metro East. We helped people in the 13, 14 counties. Need is there everywhere. So... He helps us feel the need, and to show our appreciation, we wanted to give him a special award because I think it's important to, I don't believe, you all know me, I don't believe in giving flowers when you're dead because I probably will kill you, so I feel bad about it. So I feel bad about driving Steve and his staff nuts. So in, in, in lieu of that, Steve, for what you've done sincerely, 
and Melanie come up, Reverend Nance, and the mayor. Uh, we want to present you with a Lifetime Good Neighbor Award, which is an exceptional duty, and that gives you an opportunity uh, to outdo that. There's one more award above that, Steve, so with another $500,000 in the next couple of years, we'll work on that award. Founders Award, Steve Stinger, St. Louis County Executive, your invaluable support of seniors, disabled, and the needy. Lance McComb, Board President, Gentry W. Trotter, Founders COO, annual meeting on June 3rd, 2016. Congratulations. Well, thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I shouldn't ask that. All right, calling Greg Daly from the bullpen. Thank you, Lance. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Greg Daly. I'm the collector of revenue for the city of St. Louis. Thanks for being here. Uh, Gentry puts on a great show. We always we come every every year, and it's always bigger and better. But I'm here today to help honor the Lifetime Good Neighbor Awards. Uh, I would like to thank Donna Knight, Margie Price, Reverend Nance, Melanie DeLeo, for providing guidance with today's honorees. We appreciate their efforts as we have chosen a wonderful group of news organizations who continue to help with public health and safety issues. The Lifetime Achievement Good Neighbor Awards are for exceptional leadership. This year we have several who have gone the extra mile. I'm going to ask at this time to, to bring up uh, our fire chief, Chief Jenkerson, to help co-present with these honor, as he represents the fire chiefs, the EMS crews throughout our region who have had a tough job each winter saving people's lives during some pretty dangerous weather conditions. Chief? You got Do I have remarks, Gentry? Weather conditions. Weather conditions. Talk about it. Well, it's a little stuffy in here today, but we'll make it through it. <laughs> Weather conditions, okay. It's like Second City Comedy. Talk about smoke alerts. Smoke alerts. Okay. Well, this winter we got lucky. I mean, uh, we had a fairly mild winter, so uh, we didn't really see the, uh, the injuries and the deaths from the cold weather and the storms that we had seen in the past couple of years. Although that really didn't matter because Gentry still called me every day. <laughs> As we move forward, we're getting ready for a hot summer, and it's already started. Um, real quick story, I got a call the other day from an individual who needed some utility assistance help. It was late on a Friday afternoon, and I will say she was in a panic. She said she didn't know who to call. She had tried other places and had seen some of our commercials through Heat Up and Cool Down St. Louis. I called Gentry and said, here's the issue, here's the problem, send them the information. And within about 15 minutes, we had an answer and the problem was solved. So that's the commitment that Gentry has to what we're all doing here today. And the system works. Whether it's too cold or too hot, we always see the effects. The fire department sees the effects firsthand, the EMS side. We go into these people's homes and they always tell you, I'm fine. But they're they're close to stroking out, they're close to cardiac arrest, and we see it. And we have the means with the working people in this room to solve many of those problems, and we do solve these problems on a daily basis. So with that, let's keep doing what we're doing because we do a great job. Thank you, Chief. Fox 2, KPLR-TV. 11 does breaking news always the day of rise and shine but still continue to support live on the air the hardy's heat up fundraiser but also if you flip on any of their channels they have about 500 or so public service announcements blasting their airways as early as january we're proud to present audrey prywich vice president of news and mary hill community affairs manager with the Lifetime Good Neighbor Awards 
for your telev television stations. Would they please come on up? On behalf of Spencer Koch, our GM, I want to thank you. Mary and I both uh, moved to St. Louis from California. So what really struck, I know myself and Mary, was the extreme heat and the extreme cold here. Um, we're fortunate to have heat and air in our homes, but for so many that don't, it gives us even a di deeper appreciation for what you guys do for the underserved in this community. So thank you. And I, too, want to echo my appreciation to Gentry for all he does and working tirelessly each and every day. It's really amazing. So thank you. KSTK Channel 5. All of our local TV stations educate the public about smoke alarms without them, without them. But in addition, KSDK TV Channel 5 promotes heat up and cool down efforts always during the weather segments, even when they have scheduled other charity mentions. They actually use our website so that, so don't have to search their websites looking for to make a donation. They are making exceptions like their competitors and the public benefits from their direct, from their decisions. From that support, along with Hardy's Rise and Shine, thank you, KSDK. Here to accept the award for our fellow members are Marsha Mo Mo Movasian and Station's News Director, I'm sorry, Marsha Williams and Station News Director Karen Movasian from KSDK. <laughs> Ladies. Marsha Williams, a board member, and I head up the <laughs> research audience department at KSDK News Channel 5. Unfortunately, our news director couldn't be, um, is not available here tonight and couldn't be with us this evening. But I just, on behalf of our president and general manager, Marv Danielinski, and the entire News Channel 5 station, thank you. This is something we strive for, is to alert, protect, and investigate for our community. So thank you. Finally, on the television side, when we are fighting for our needy residents and we want the governor of Missouri to know our thoughts about the administration holding back utility funds, for an example, and the cause and effect of being without heat, KM KMOV Channel 4 continues to track us and other down, and, and other down for answers. But I forgot, I, I got to tell you on a personal note, when you go to the Hardys on Hampton and 44, there is always that live KMOV truck during the rise and shine. Putting aside their competitive spirit and joining others in the market in an effort to help those without heat. Accepting the honor this year for, is Tony Getz, Promotions Chief, News Director, and Brian Tuvano from KMOV. Gentlemen. <laughs> sorry that our president and general manager uh, Mike Murphy couldn't be here today he's getting some good brother time uh, with his brother on the golf course so uh, we're more than happy to be here for him today uh, as he takes a day of relaxation uh, but I can say that we support heat up st. Louis cool down uh, st. Louis very passionately because there are so many st. Louisans who are in need every day uh, and as has been said here today it, it knows no boundaries so we're very happy to continue our service uh, in the future. And thank you, Gentry, for being so generous to us over the years. For all the recipients of the awards, please, there's boxes up front. So at the end of the, uh, uh, the meeting, please come on up. <laughs> last but never last. When it comes to Rise and Shine, Hubbard Radio is always there with about 45 volunteers, more than $150,000 in public service promotions, 
All of our media partners provide tremendous support, but John and his Hubbard and the Hubbard Group are all over the place. For the past four years in a row, we are proud to present you with this honor. The Hubbard Group, are they represented here? Please come on up. John Kialski representing the Hubbard Group. John? football owner leave town because St. Louis wasn't a good place to do business. Believe that? We've had journalists outside of St. Louis say, not a good place to live. Guess what? They haven't been to heat up or cool down. Boom! Drop the mic. <laughs> John from Hubbard Radio, boy. <laughs> Thank you all to all the recipients. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. I would now like to invite up to the podium Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Good afternoon. It's truly a pleasure to be here with you today. I want to add to all of the compliments that Gentry has received as he has given Greg Daly more orders this afternoon <laughs> and say thank you to him because there's no person in this entire region who does more to assist people with energy assistance than Gentry Trotter. Thank you for all that you do, Gentry. And as a result of that commitment and dedication, Gentry, we wanted to announce today that the Urban League is going to bestow upon you our most coveted award at our Martin Luther King celebration in January to thank you for your many years of service to the agency and also to the NAACP and to so many charities and having created this one. Thank you for all that you do and continue to do. An award from Heat Up St. Louis is very meaningful. The Urban League is very grateful for the fact that we received the Agency of the Year last year and we covet our relationship with Heat Up and Cool Down St. Louis. Today I have the opportunity to give an award to one of my colleagues, Ms. Merlene Anderson, who is retiring after more than 26 years at the St. Louis Community Action Agency. She has helped to serve tens of thousands of people in her career. She is dedicated to helping the less fortunate and has been a pioneer in social services for decades. And we wish to present her today with one of the Heat Up St. Louis Awards. Our next award is to Steve Limley. He has been with Hardee's and one of the original supporters of Hardy's Rise and Shine for Heat Up St. Louis's fundraiser, which this event has helped raise thousands of dollars over the years for Missouri and Illinois residents with their heating bills. And thanks to Steve, who has served for years as our honorary general chairperson, Heat Up St. Louis and Hardy's partnership continues to thrive. Steve Limley. Finally, uh, Ben Turek has been a successful troubleshooter for Heat Up St. Louis as our longtime PR marketing chair. We appreciate your efforts. We thank you for all of the contributions that you have made to the agency in assisting Gentry in making sure that all of the various messages get out to the community. And we have this award to present to you as well, Ben. Please come up.
Thank you very much. This was uh, unexpected, and um, I cherish it, and I want to thank everyone and certainly uh, uh, Gentry for, uh, for all that he does for the organization. Thanks. So we wanted to show our appreciation and to Tom Trotter from Pioneer Restaurants. They're the new owners of the St. Louis Hardy's Co-op. They don't have a lot of money, guys, so don't try to hit them up, okay? But come on up and get your Lifetime Achievement Award for Hardy's and your Pioneer, sir. <laughs> Emmett's Broadcasting. Where is John? Come on up, John. We appreciate if you hadn't hugged her from KTRS, she would be still here. We appreciate everything you do for us, and we're sharing your leadership award for Rise and Shine and all that you do throughout the year. Thank <laughs> well, thank you very much for uh, this award. And, um... <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> Reverend, get in the award, please. Radio guys, y'all don't know where to stand, do you? In TV, we mark the spot, and they know how to stand in the spot. It's not it. Well, first of all, I want to congratulate John Kialski again, because I think getting 45 of your staff, and I know your staff's probably the same size as mine, together for something uh, is remarkable and to do it every year is, is just great. This is a great example of how our, our radio and media community in general can come together uh, and do great things. So on behalf of my stations, KZK, Y98, and the Voice of St. Louis celebrating its 90th birthday this year, uh, Camel X, we are thrilled to be part of Heat Up and Cool Down and um, are as committed to the community today as we were 90 years ago. Uh, thank you to Gentry. When I got here about nine years ago, he was one of the very first people to call me, and I realized it was because I was representing great radio stations, and he knew we could do great things together. So thanks to Gentry for everything you do. Thank you very much for the commercial. We're taking a station break for one minute. Kim Tucci, J. Kim Tucci, the president emeritus of Heat Up St. Louis, who gave us a fabulous lunch and fabulous cookies. He has a presentation to make. Y'all hold that for Kim, please. This is a very important No, I'll read it. This is an honor and it's with some regret that I make this presentation. Um, Francis Slade has been my friend for a number of years and um, I'm really proud to call him my friend. Uh, most recently, in the last four months, five months, we've been getting together a couple of times a month just to sit down and talk. And it was uh, predicated because Sherry Webermeyer thought it'd be neat if we just uh, sat down and had a conversation. And it's been a highlight of my uh, a highlight of my year just meeting with Francis. And like I say, it's with regret because uh, I know we're going to continue to meet, but uh, he'll be in a different position, whatever that is. Uh, paramount to Francis Slade's um, philosophy is that uh, things don't matter, but people do. He's always been sensitive to the needs and wants of uh, the people in the St. Louis region. Uh, for all the years that I've known him, that's been his philosophy. And uh, it really is an honor to present him with this award. It is the Lifetime Good Neighbor Award presented to Mayor Francis G. Slade. And uh, look at it, it's beautiful too. And it's bigger than all the other awards that you guys got. <laughs> and um, anyway, thank you, Mayor, for everything you've done. And uh, thanks for our friendship and the friendship to all the people in the St. Louis region. Thank you. Radio One, thank you for all you do. They're down on South Broadway where KSDK is for Rise and Shine. 
and we appreciate everything that they do to help us support for Rise and Shine. Spectrum, where is Spectrum? Is the, the, the Spectrum? Kate of Spectrum? There he is. Where is he here? Right there he is. Spectrum, where is our guy? That's our guy. And, and incidentally, mark him present because when you call earlier, he wasn't present. Yes, present. he was. Sorry. Present. Tell him your name. Dean Mutter. Dean Mutter. <laughs> KDNL TV 30, thank you for your public service support. We appreciate it. Come on in. I'll come on up. Thank you, sir. Suburban Journals and Post Dispatch. Do a group shot, please. One minute. We're going to do a group shot. You'll be happy. STL TV. STL TV? Where is my lady? There she is. STL TV. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Here. Okay. Moving right along. Thank you very much. And Mr. President. And that being said, thank you everyone for your patience. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Gentry. We entertain a motion to adjourn. Second, all eyes, aye, nays. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen thank do you. not leave this. Uh, you want to take one further back? Just